Okay, like that. So let's go over what we're looking at here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. First and foremost, health potion. Stamina draw. Anyone gets attacked, use goad. If Anders is being being attacked, obviously we want him to use armistice. We only have two more, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, invest these in uh, in attack spells. So first things first, we're gonna go with enemy. Target a party member, Hawk. You can actually use target a controlled party member if you want. It really doesn't matter. Usability, pinning shot, and target of Hawk. Usability. Oops, sorry guys. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> now, obviously, as he levels up, he will get more tactic slots. These will get more complicated. But we will go over them slowly every time it does. And I will also note when we do level up in each description of every video. Uh, we're going to want Rhyming Triplet. Okay, so here we go. Simple, simple, simple stuff, huh? Very easy. I understand this can be very, very overwhelming for new players. Uh, I told my friend I feel the tactic system is just really, really overwhelming for newer players who have not played Dragon Age Origins and things like that. But I hope this helps you guys, even if you're new to the game. That even veteran players like myself do require some help on tactics. This is a very, very fidgety system. Uh, it has weird outlook. Uh, it just has a weird setting that you need, like, use current condition for next tactic. I mean, who would ever think of that? Any goad, you know what I mean? That's why you need some of these people that, like, sit here and test everything. I'm not one of those people, so. A lot of these tactics are actually borrowed from people. But this is what I found works best. Okay, so we got all our companions completely finished. Uh, tactics are all set. Everyone's been babysat. Now we're just going to check our equipment. But at this point, you're pretty much ready to continue the game. Uh, huh. Alright, see, you can never upgrade Bianca. But you can upgrade her stuff. 6 mana stamina rate, regeneration rate, or 15 spirit damage. She doesn't need mana or stamina regeneration, so you don't have to worry about stuff like that. Uh, as I expected. I knew I had to make a mistake somewhere. So hard to memorize all this stuff. I should have wrote it down. Okay, first and foremost, remember to at least get 20 magic when you're using him. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was 19, but it was 20. I should have double-checked. I'm, I'm almost tempted to redo right the video now. Alright, so that's all you need to know. The basics of how to build your characters, how to uh, set up your tactics, and also this is early game gameplay. Uh, you shouldn't have any ability problems. First and foremost though, remember you need to set your abilities up. Uh, I like to go with cleave on the O button. For right now, uh, mighty blow on square as usual. Whoops, my blown square. Now this is, uh, you really don't need two hockey uh, sustains unless you're playing as Berserk. But these sustains you'll probably stop using eventually anyway. So you really need to hockey them. I like to uh, hockey them Abari right now. Alright, here we go. Make sure your guys are channeling all their spells they need to be channeling. Alright, and I'm going to stop the video here, and we are ready to continue. Actually, I'm not going to stop the video, because we're just going to continue as if we were playing anyway. Alright, our guys are all leveled up and ready to go. So let's continue on this dungeon. Besides, if I stop now, the video would be three minutes long. What is the point of that? Now, you have to be careful in this fight, because there will be a mage around here. And he is priority one to kill. Ow. 
I like to save all my sustain. Try to hunt down that mage and see if you can find him. This is precisely what you want to do. See, we really had no problems in that fight. The only reason Meryl lost life at all was because, obviously, she is uh, a blood mage. But we really had no issues in that fight. Varric, who's supposed to be disarming traps, gets caught in a trap. Good job, Varric. Good job. Keeping your eyes open, I see. Very savvy, very savvy. He's got some new armor. Some new gears. One armor for fortitude. And the willpower uh, trinket I would put on him. You did get a new one-handed weapon, but it's useless to you. Don't worry about it. Unless you're playing sword and board, it might be better than what you have. Nothing here. I do like to check every nook and cranny. It's worth it. Remember it? Money, money, money. Even shitty uh, gear sells for money. I think Bianca's gotten scratched. Oh no! How will you contain yourself, Eric? Bianca's gotten scratched. I believe there is a mage in this part. Kill the mage. <laughs> Don't let this mage run free, believe me. best to find and kill this mage as soon as you can. There he is right there. Kill this mage as soon as you can. Something like that. I think those are rogue boots. Not 100% sure. Oh, they are for me. Okay. What do they do? Fire resistance. Not the most useful thing right now. But like I said, always priority one is mages. Especially on the harder difficulties, they will tear your party up and spit it out. But that was pretty painless. Varric did pull some extra aggro than I thought he would. But what are you going to do? The reason for that was because I was too fixated on killing the mage. Just make sure you take that mage out if you can. Uh, obviously it spawns in this corner. I did not know that until this fight. So he's going to spawn here. So make sure he's the first one to kill after you kill the first wave. He only shows up after the leader uh, calls him out. But yes, he is definitely priority one to kill, maim, whatever you have to do to him, kill him. Red Grace. That is a two-hander. Uh, that's why I came here so early, because this is an area where you can upgrade your weapon if you don't have Hayden's Razor. But Grace is a two-hander. We're going to take a look at it. It is not better than this guy. This uh, weapon, though. 59 attack and plus 4 fire damage. That's all that's in here. So, we're going to get out of here.
I think that's it. All right. You have been a good friend. Let's blow this popsicle stand. All right. Now that we've done all that, first thing we want to do is go to uh, a shop, like High Town is fine, and sell all our crap. Just sell it all. It's a fire sale. Sell all your crap. Get all your money. Because we're gonna want to have enough money to buy a few things by the end of the act and also have enough to go on the uh the expedition so the first thing we're gonna wanna buy after we bought that is we're gonna wanna buy the next elixir of technique which is and we also wanna buy the two backpacks you can buy in this uh... section and also the varic armor upgrade all those are things you're gonna wanna purchase so i'm gonna pick up this so when you first did blood magic it was just an accident, right? You cut yourself and realize the power. So... Alright, here's a two-handed weapon. We're gonna sell. It's not very good. Uh, sell it. Sell, sell. Song of Sorrow. Sell, sell. Like I said, if you are going to be playing... Uh... If you are gonna bring Isabella, make sure to hang on to some daggers. You do get her a little later. We're gonna sell most of this stuff. We don't need any of this. Gauntlets. Uh, Ferelden Field Gloves gone. Gloves of the Unknowable Unknown. You'll never be able to wear these, so just get rid of them. These you can sell. And Boots of the Frozen Waste. You don't even worth selling them. Sell all that with Triangle. Alright, we're gonna drop all this stuff off at our stash at home. You didn't actually deal with a demon. Oh no. Ugh. All right, we're gonna sell red grace because it's not. We're never gonna use it. <laughs> Unless you're bringing Fenris with, I would not ever use it. I'm not bringing Fenris with us, so I'm going to just sell it. He's using you to get a foothold in a mortal brain. He's a spirit. He offered me his aid. I hardly think you're one to criticize. You, you, what do you mean you can't? Blah blah blah. I want to help you, Mister. Okay. I believe this guy sells one of the backpacks. Can't be one hundred percent sure. I remember. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna buy that. Make sure to buy the backpack. They do go away if you do not buy them. I'm gonna talk to this guy who's gonna give us monies. Thank you. I think you let this get away from me. Now the next quest is in the blooming rose, but we're not gonna go there first because the load screen. I don't think this has to be loaded. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna grab this quest real quick. The Templar person. We are going to be siding with the Templars this way, so we're going to always do what the Templars want us to do. I tried to that means killing all the mages if we have to. It doesn't matter to me. Alright, we're going to head into the Chantry again and hand in the next quest. So now we have a nice loading screen, a nice little break.